Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome to my home, welcome to my channel, and welcome to my weekly vlog, Coffee, Tea, Wine, and Life. I am so excited and happy to have you here with me today. So to my returning viewers, my subscribers, thank you so much. It just means the world to me to have your support. So thank you, thank you so much. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you consider subscribing by hitting that little red button over there. I would love to have you come back and join me for future videos. And oh, it is start of a new day, right? Start of a new vlog. So today is Saturday. It is Halloween. And oh my gosh, I just love this time of year. It's it's just the colors, the fragrances, just the excitement. Um, I just love dressing up for Halloween and um, I'm really going to miss seeing all the kids dressed up for Halloween this year, but sometimes it's a, it's, it's a, it's a hard year. So anyway, but anyway, today I am so excited because I had some items that I knew that were out for delivery today and I could hear the mail truck coming from a few doors down the street, so I was like so excited. I mean, if I was a dog and I had a tail, it would have been wagging like crazy. That's how excited I was. So why am I so excited? Well, I got a new pair of pajamas from QVC. Yeah, so I got, the, I got them on. I could not wait to, to get them on, and of course, some of my finish with this is gonna go in the washing machine. But anyway, I am loving the color. This is, uh, again, from Carol Hockman. Was on clearance, so it was twenty nine dollars and ninety six cents. Um, they only have like two colors left. I think it's a pink, a blush, and a tan, or something like that. But anyway, twenty nine ninety six. It's they're calling it suede fleece, and it is so soft, so comfortable. Got this little shawl collar right here, long sleeves. Even the uh, pants have pockets. So oh my gosh, it is so nice, so comfortable. I'm gonna love this. So anyway. And then I thought to myself, you know how you get a pair of jeans or, you know, a nice t-shirt um, or a t-shirt dress and you say, oh, it's so nice because I can dress it up or I can dress it down. And I thought, why not do the same with pajamas, right? So into my room I went and yes, yeah, so I got some, my Touchstone Crystal by Swarovski earrings on. I got the matching necklace and I thought, why not dress up my pajamas, right? I mean, I'm not going to go anywhere today. Yeah. So I'm not going to wait probably not go anywhere tomorrow either. So why not dress in your pajamas, be nice, cozy, comfortable and warm, and you're dressed up just in case someone comes to the door. They don't even have to know that you're in pajamas. They just think you're in a nice little lounge outfit, right? And because you're dressed up, I mean, if it's someone that you don't want to talk to, or you just, you know, you just don't want to talk anymore, you can say, oh, I'm sorry, I'm on my way out. And they're gonna think you are because I mean, who is jewelry around the house in their pajamas? Honestly, besides me. Do you know anybody else? Yeah. Oh, so anyway, I feel like such a genius for coming up with this idea. I mean, I'm probably not the first one, but I'm probably the first one to say it in my blog. Yeah, so I think I get points for that. And because I'm going with this fancy thing, I've got my coffee and my fancy teacup. Yeah, got my good china out. Look at this. I got my pinky out. It's a pink on my coffee. Oh yeah, Nancy's fancy. Well, not really. But anyway, I had a book that said I was one, so anyway. And then the next thing that came was my uh, Lancer skincare products. I get that on auto delivery from QVC as well. And loving this line. I This is what really kind of started me going on uh, skincare and things this year. Is that I got like some trial sizes of the Lancer skincare products. And of course now I, I get the full size. And I've got this on auto delivery, so I get it like every three months and I am just loving it. So it's like a three-step method. So you've got the exfoliator, the cleanser, and the moisturizer, and just, just love this. And just in case you didn't know, it comes with a little card that kind of explains the Lancer and its method, and the instructions on the back, which you can't read because this, this webcam does not focus. But anyway, the first time I used the exfoliator, because I've never exfoliated before in my life, it was like, oh my God, this hurts. People do this every day. People even go to salons and, and they pay to have someone do that to them. Oh my gosh, I was like, oh, shocked. I could not wait to get it off. So as, after, as I took it off and I'm rubbing my face, I'm just like, oh my God, this is my face. My face yeah, felt so much softer than it had ever felt before. So I was hooked right there. And then of course I used the cleanser, which is like cleansing the course and it's moisturizing. And then the moisturizer, which I never had good luck with moisturizers. I mean, yeah, um, just a little, little tiny bit of moisturizer and it was like Zit City. So anyway, I do have some leftover. So anyway, to show you, this, this is what an empty exfoliator looks like. Yeah, I squeezed the crap out of this. I got every last drop. The cleanser I'm still using and the uh, 
and I still have quite a bit of moisturizer left in here. And because I've had such bad luck with moisturizers, I put my moisturizer on while my face is still wet, and I only use about this much. And so when my face is wet, I just kind of rub this between my hands, and just with the uh, my face still being wet, it just gives it a nice smooth coverage. It blends a lot easier for me, and I don't have any breakouts. Um, oh, yeah, I am so happy that I tried this line. Uh, it is a nice base, basic to have. So, yeah, I'm really happy with this. And, of course, now I'm trying different things that, from, like, FabFit. The, some things that I did have in FabFit fun before I canceled it. And then the Ipsy and the Boxy Chomp. So I'm happy to add on and try some new products as well, but still keep with my, my base here. So loving that. And then I got another fall look on my eye today. All right, so I don't know if you can see it. But I am using this kit that I won from Barbara Jean from Age is Just a Number. Oh, and I hope you check her out. She is just such a lovely lady. But anyway, um, she was doing a giveaway on her channel, and sometimes when she buys palettes, she'll buy like two, and then she'll do one for a giveaway. She's so generous and so nice. But anyway, it's called Desert Oasis, and this is what, what it looks like. So, so pretty. And in fact, even if you saw my last week's vlog, I used those blue shades for, an, uh, for one of my Halloween looks, and I really loved it for my 60s look. But anyway, just loving using this, and you probably see that this has some deep lines in it, this blue. It's because I had a, a brush today that I used for my eyeliner, and so I wet it, and then I put it in there because I didn't want to plug it in my eye, and I don't know if you can see, but I used that blue shade as my eyeliner. Yeah, so loving that. But um, anyway, so it's Halloween, so if you are going out tonight with your children, have a great time with them. Just make it a memory that they are going to cherish forever, and one that you're going to cherish forever as well. If you don't go out trick-or-treating, I hope that maybe your kids still get to dress up. Uh, maybe make some cookies or just sit and watch a movie together. Or if it's nice where you are, maybe sit outside, have a bonfire, and have some marshmallows, marshmallows, and just have fun. Just uh, make memory, make the most of it. It's, it's a tough year for everyone, so just make the most of every day that you can. And we will chat again tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi everyone, happy Sunday. I hope everyone had a great night trick-or-treating or staying home with your loved ones. Um, you know, I know Sabrina didn't uh, go out with the jelly beans uh, last night, but they were dressed up in costumes and she took pictures with them and even she dressed up and took a picture as well with them and they just made it a fun home, fun night at home and just something that the kids are just going to remember that maybe they didn't get to go trick-or-treating, but they still got to dress up and they had fun with mom and dad and to me, that's more important than getting a bag of candy that, you know, it, it is what it is, but you do have to try to make the most of that situation. I did not have any trick or treaters last night, so I was pretty happy about that because I, I really felt bad that I wasn't going to be doing uh, Halloween this year, but I did go out and I, I mean, I had shut my outside lights off and, you know, I have spotlights and stuff on the house, so I shut all them off and the inside lights I didn't have on and, um, you know, my decorations I had shut off. So but every house on the, my neighborhood was, was dark, so I was not the only one. There were like three groups of people that went by. None of them had masks. The adults and the children had masks. In fact, one was pretty scary. He was uh, screaming obscenities and swearing at all of us down the street because we weren't doing Halloween and we weren't ruining Halloween for his children. And yeah, big time swears. Yeah, big time. And I mean, his kids were screaming and crying to go home and they didn't want to go trick-or-treating and yeah, that's not what, that, that's not a good memory for your kids, but uh, I know it's a rough year for everyone, so I do feel bad for them. But anyway, so today, I'm going to have a sip of my coffee because I love my coffee. Oh, so I make this pork loin roast that was in my freezer that I got from Trader Joe's, and I don't remember the last time I went to Trader Joe's because I can't be trusted because of the, uh, the Danish Twinkle incident. I can eat the whole thing in the car on the way home. So, yeah, I can't go back in that store till I get that under control. Or if I get down to 90 pounds, which I'm not really trying to do, but if I was 90 pounds, I would go and buy 10 Pringles, and they would be gone in the car on the way home. So that, that's not the ultimate goal, right? But anyway, so I bought this pork loin roast there, and it's by Hormel, and it was, um, you know, it was in the freezer in a bag, and it was um, marinated in some mesquite barbecue sauce. Oh, my gosh, that is so good. I cooked it in the air fryer. 
So the outside is like kind of crispy, but you cut into it and it's so juicy and so moist and it's so good. So yeah, I'm glad I decided to cook it and just not throw it out. So you just never know. And anyway, so I am so excited because I've got uh, two giveaways to do today. So I'll be doing that video in a little bit. So it's the one from two items from my boxy charm. I have the uh, lashes and the vulgar palette. So I'm really excited to be doing a little giveaway and I, I know there's you know people that do great big boxes and I appreciate them so much when they can do that but for me it's kind of hard on, on one income so I, I want to try to do just little things like this every now and then just to let everybody know how much I appreciate their support and it, you just mean the world to me so I will do little things here and there to just let you know that so I'll be doing that in a little bit and of course one of the things was that you had to be publicly subscribed and I do know that there are people that put in the code words and they even put in their sentence that they were subscribed to me or a new subscriber but when I go to my subscription list they're not there and if I go to their page I'm not listed there on their page as well so you do have to be publicly subscribed to my channel um, and if I do pick that one of those names then I will be picking again so sorry about that but another thing that I want to do and I'm going to try to insert a little video in here because I'm going to be doing the uh, Sensi uh, flower giveaway tomorrow so I'm excited about that one too so I'm going to open one of mine and then I'm going to try to fast forward it that part so I'll do a separate little video and I have no idea what these colors are going to look like I, I did this one with the uh, the blue magic marker my Sharpie and I really like the way that came out so I'm going to do one in some fall colors so I've got red orange and yellow and so I'm going to try to just show you how I just did the uh, tips of it and then maybe take uh, pictures during the week just to uh, show how it's uh, bleeding into it so anyway I think that's going to be it today so I hope everyone goes out has a fantastic day and we will chat again tomorrow bye bye everyone oh good luck on, on winning my, uh, my giveaways Hi everyone, happy Monday. I hope everybody's work day flew by. Mine did not. I have no idea what was going on today, but it just, uh, as much as I love the uh, falling back and the uh, fall and getting that extra hour of sleep, I don't like it getting dark at 4.30 in the afternoon. Yeah, that's no fun. It's like, I should be home and it's a pitch black outside. But anyway. I guess that is what it is because probably pretty soon it's going to get darker even earlier so I guess I just got to kind of get used to it but yeah it was just an odd kind of day you know and I think it's um I think it just Halloween just really just really kind of weighed on my mind it just seemed more emotional than it should have been and um you know and that was you know I really struggled with not wanting to do the candy this year and open the door to strangers and the little kids and stuff which I really always love that um, and not decorating outside and things like that and then um, and then feeling bad about that and then realizing later on that night that when I went out and looked up and down the street none of my other neighbors were doing Halloween this year that all their lights were dark they used to have their outside lights off and so that kind of made me feel a little bit better and I only saw like three groups of people go by except for the one so it really broke my heart uh, the uh, father was just screaming and swearing at all the houses as he went by and calling us all kinds of you know obscenities um, for not opening the door and giving candy and we were ruining Halloween for his kids and Oh my gosh, it was so awful. And, um, you know, his kids were crying that they wanted to go home. And it was like, it was it was just breaking my heart. And it's like, and then I, you know, I realized that how hard it, this is for everybody. And, you know, it's hard on the kids. And, 
it's hard on the parents and you want to do so much for your kids and I don't know it's it was just it was heart-wrenching and my heart just went out to the whole family and, and everybody I I mean I'm alone here so I'm I'm okay I don't have to explain anything to anybody but how do you deal with um, telling your kids about COVID and staying away and not going over to see your grand their grandparents or going out to see their friends at school and uh, so it's it has to be so hard I don't know how people are doing it and working from home and trying to do the virtual learning with their kids and just I don't know my heart goes out to them so God bless all of you uh, you can have it a lot tougher than I ever could imagine so um, yeah it just it just breaks my heart just thinking about it so anyway I had that way in on my mind um, pretty much all weekend too and um, and then I had my first giveaway well, not my first giveaway, I've done a few before, but I had my a giveaway yesterday um, for some items that were in my boxy charm, and I just thought that was going to be such a fun idea. You know, now that I'm trying to get into, I went over to the dark side to get like makeup and skincare and things like that. So I just thought it would be a fun little way to say thank you um, to my subscribers and my viewers, just to let you know how much I appreciate you and your support. And to just do these little giveaways here and there I thought would be a fun thing and maybe it's not the way to go I don't know so part of my thing is is that and I you know and everybody else that does these giveaways I'll do the same thing about being publicly subscribed and if you know and I know that I mentioned it a few times and I'll oh, check my video you know I'm having this giveaway and you know the rules are there and you got to be publicly subscribed and then of course I, I do the you know the random picker and I pick someone that's not publicly subscribed to me and then you know she writes in the comments that she is that she just changed her name that morning to a different name but then other people that have changed their names their settings just seem to go with them and their list of subscribers are there so, you know, I don't know if it was an oversight because I never meant to do this to hurt anybody or to exclude anybody or to make anyone feel bad. But then I, I so this is where, what I'm struggling with right now. Um, do I just leave that part of it out uh, so I don't exclude people that maybe they don't know how to change their settings to make them publicly subscribed or do I stick to my guns and say, this was part of the rules, I'm sorry. And because then if I change that rule, then it's not fair to the people that are publicly subscribed to me. So do you see where I'm going with this? Yeah, so I'm just really having a hard time dealing with hurting people that I never meant to hurt anybody. And um, it was just supposed to be a fun way to say thank you to everyone. And I got the Scentsy Flower one to do tonight. And, you know, and I, I did check. And, you know, I've only had a couple of people that sub uh, put the code word in to be included in the giveaway and half of them aren't publicly subscribed to me So, you know if the random picker picks them then I'm gonna have to do the same thing and hurt them and Yeah, I don't want to hurt anybody. It's was meant to be just a fun little. Thank you. So anyway, I'm gonna close now so I can do that video and um, do my giveaway and so I'm thinking this is going to be my last little giveaway because I just, it was meant to be fun and not to hurt anybody and so I'm sorry for that but, so anyway, it's just kind of one of those things, it's just, just an emotional week but, and it's only Monday, holy mackerel. So anyway, maybe I need to put something in my coffee and cheer myself up but anyway, I hope everyone goes out has a fantastic day tomorrow. I hope your work day flies by. And to any of you that are home struggling with COVID and children and just trying to get through your day, um, my hat's off to you. And I, I love you all. And I just want to thank you so much for your support. And um, we'll chat again soon. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Hi, everyone. Cheers. It's Tuesday, so it feels like it should be Friday, doesn't it? Well, maybe to me it does. Yesterday was just one of those days that, I mean, it started off kind of slow, but I had a lot to do, and I just kind of felt like I was moving backwards at some parts during the day. I have no idea what that's about. Today just seemed to just go by so fast, and I wanted to have more time, but it was 5.30, and I left at 5.30. I don't remember the last time I left that early. Yeah, so I was pretty proud of myself. So cheers, everyone, having a drink to celebrate, and I've already had two cups of coffee since I've been home, so yeah. 
Mm, it was 70 degrees coming home today, so I was going to stop and go to Dunkin' Donuts on my way home and get a nice coffee. But I just got the Buddy the Elf creamer and I thought, I'm going to come home and make my own coffee. Yeah, and then I had some coffee with that and then I am having some wine. So I'm having this uh, Roscato wine that I really like too. That's an uh, Italia Roscato and it's a uh, Rosa Dolce and it's a uh, sweet red wine. So I like this one. And uh, yeah, I came home, I had some um, presents from Ipsy, from the Ipsy add-ons in my mailbox. For some reason I just thought they would come with the next Ipsy. But I got three different items, they were kind of groups of twos for like five dollars each. So I was going to go over them, but I feel like I've been rambling on and on for a lot of days in a row now. So I think maybe I'll save that and try to do that another day. Or maybe do it when I get my Ipsy bag. And. Um, yeah, so you can see I've got my Scentsy Flower behind me, and this is the one I did on Sunday. So you can see it colors bleeding through a little bit more. So they got probably be a few more days before it's satu fully saturated. So I am happy the way that came out. So it's a nice kind of like a fall little blossom there. I remember it started off, you know, in this side, just plain white shade. So yeah, so that's just a lot of fun doing that. And what else? So, um, does anybody else to stop crying for no reason? Well, you know, there's a reason. So, I'm coming home into, I, I don't know why, but lately it just seems um, things bother me more than they should. And I get over emotional for things that I have no control over and I really shouldn't be worrying about. But anyway, I'm coming home from work today and I'm on the highway. And you know they have those highway signs and they got little messages on them. So one was, um, there was an accident um, eight miles down the road and um, to get off because the road was closed. And I just started crying. Yeah, it's like, I mean for all, usually, you know, I'm thinking they close the road, it's a bad accident with a fatality or just a really, really bad accident. Like they need a helicopter or something to land. And yeah, so I just started crying, but I mean, it could be just be that a tra tractor trailer jackknifed and blocked the highway. But I'm crying and praying for people that I don't even know and praying for their families and yeah. I was a wreck when I got home. Yeah, I shouldn't have the wine as soon as I came home, but I had two cups of coffee and now I'm like all kind of buzzed. <sighs> so I don't know. So I don't know. I used to consider myself a rock. A rock. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know what's happening with that. It's starting to bother me. But... Anyway, I have you to talk to, so that makes me happy. And I've got uh, either, I got more coffee because I got two things of Buddy the Elf Creamer, so yeah, I'm gonna have more coffee later. And then one wonder why it's four o'clock in the morning and I haven't gone to sleep yet. But uh, anyway, I hope everyone goes out, has a fantastic day tomorrow. And um, yeah, I hope everyone um, is happy and healthy. And um, I hope you're all doing well. And um, I'm just thinking about all of you, and you just are me in the world to me. So, thank you so much for coming into my life. I just feel very blessed to have you. So, take care, everyone. We'll chat tomorrow. Bye bye. Happy Hump Day, everybody. I'm so excited to have you join me again. And I tell you, I'm excited that it's Hump Day because it's halfway through the week. But you know what I'm more excited about? I am feeling so, so much better than yesterday. Um, yeah, I was feeling so sad and so emotional yesterday over my little giveaway thing and hurting people's feelings and just really feeling bad that I was hurting people unintentionally because I don't want to hurt anybody. And, you know, my channel is here to be kind of lighthearted light -hearted and have a little fun and, and just kind of share parts of my life with everybody and it's just meant to be a fun channel. But anyway... I had that um, vulgar palette that I was doing giveaway from my boxy charm that I wasn't keeping. And when I did the comment picker, uh, the first person that picked when I went to their channel, there wasn't any channels that she was publicly subscribed to. So I had to pick another one because that was part of my rules. And anyway, so then I, I felt bad that I was doing that anyway. And then I felt even worse when she typed back under that video and just said that she was subscribed to me and that she changed her name. And then, oh my gosh, I just felt so, so bad and I didn't know what to do. And, you know, I, I knew that other people changed their names on their channels, but everything came with them, you know, any the channels they were subscribed to came with them. So I didn't know what to do, but... Anyway, I reached out to her um, on her comment and just asked her to email me. 
and I am so glad that she emailed me this morning. So anyway, we had a few emails go back and forth, and oh, it, it was it's just such a load off my mind. I am so happy she did, because she could have said, oh, that auntie's an idiot. I'm subscribed to her. She's a she's a kumquat. I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna go to her channel anymore. But she didn't. She wrote the comment. And she replied to my email, so I'm so happy. Thanks so much, Lara. And her name again, it's Lara the Bargain Hunter. And she actually had just changed the name of her channel because even though she's had an account with YouTube for a couple of years and she's subscribed to different channels, today she's going to be her first posting a video. She's going to become a content creator. So I am so excited for her to start on this journey. And I know it's a lot of hard work and... Oh, so, but I'm just so excited for her, and I'm glad that she reached out to me. So, anyway, her name's Laura the Boggin Hunter, and, um, yes, I do have a little something I'm going to be sending to her, and it turns out that she didn't know about the being publicly subscribed, that, you know, you start these YouTube channels, and you, this thing, some things that's in your settings, and you just don't know about it unless someone tells you, right? We all have to start somewhere. But she had come over to me from Kimmy's Boxes. So thank you, Kimmy, for sending her. And then Kimmy's Boxes actually helped her with her settings. So everyone that she was subscribed to is now showing on her channel list. So thanks again, Kimmy, for helping her out. And yeah, so this is just such an awesome feeling that this is all kind of behind us. We worked it out. I'm going to be part of her YouTube family. She's still in my YouTube family. And yeah, and this to me, it's just the best part is just supporting each other and being there for each other and helping each other with milestones and just being able to help each other out and support each other. That's the best part of YouTube for me. And I'm so excited that uh, Laura the Bargain Hunter had emailed me back and first put that comment there to make get me thinking about it. And then when I said to email me back, and she did because a lot of people may not have, they would have just said, she's an idiot. But and, and I might be an idiot, you know, I am, you know, let's be honest. But she emailed me back, and I'm so glad we worked this out. So thank you so much, Laura, the bargain hunter, for being patient with me. And I'm so glad to be part of your channel, and good luck with your launch tonight. And I will be over to check out your video shortly. So anyway, thank you, everyone. Have a great day, and we'll chat again later. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. Happy Friday Eve. It is Thursday. That is such a good feeling. We have one more work day to go. And you know, it's the idea hunting opener this weekend in Minnesota. So you know what that means? It means the phones are going to be dead. I am going to get so much work done tomorrow. I am excited. But you know what I'm even more excited about? I heard about a new drink today from my friends in Kentucky, one of the vendors that I, I work with and probably talk to half, half the day. But anyway, they told me all about this bourbon cream. So I had to go and check one. Of course, they had uh, ones from their local distilleries. And the one at, they only had one at the liquor store in my neighborhood. And it's from a Minnesota company. I didn't even know Minnesota had a bourbon distillery. But we do. It's Douglas and Todd. So it's like an Irish cream, but it's made with the bourbon. So it just have a it does have a nice, smooth, rich flavor. So I am liking this. I've got it over ice in my brandy snifter. Cheers, everyone. Happy Thursday so good and then when I came home remember last month in my hoodies uh, mystery box um, one of the items in there the uh, matcha face mask was bad and uh, Brittany the owner had sent out an email just letting us know in advance that there was a quality issue she took full responsibility for it and she said that you know don't use it and she would send something well she came up with a new one for us so that was out in the mail today so just appreciate that so much that a small company um, just went through the expense of fulfilling all the orders that she sent and making up for it and sending it out on her own money. It just speaks volumes of the integrity of the owner, Brittany, and her company and where she wants her company to go in the future. So to me, that just means everything, and it just makes me like hoodies even more. But anyway, so she came back out with the uh, the uh, sea clay and match your mask. So in the front, it tells you the ingredients and everything that's on it, how to make your mask, and the back of it. Uh, you know, she's got just the benefits of using the uh, sea clay and the max matcha tea and what it can do for your skin with the antioxidants and uh, the benotite, the, well, whatever. You, you know what it is if you can read it. But anyway, 
So it's got 60 different minerals and elements in this, so that is so good. And it says you just mix one to two spoons, so I'm assuming a teaspoon, and it says just a small bowl, bowl of water. Apply to your face, let it dry, and then rinse it off with warm water. So it's nice. So I think this is going to be what I do for my face mask Monday next week. So I'm excited to try this, and I really appreciate um, the trouble that Brittany went through to do, make right by her company. So I am so proud that I, I love this product, and I'm so proud of Brittany for making right by everybody. So I will continue to buy hoodies. And um, yeah, so anyway, pretty soon it's going to be time for the uh, November mystery box from hoodies. So I'm excited about that. I always forget if it's the first Friday or the second Friday. So either one. But um, when I see it, I will definitely come on that night and make a really quick video to let everybody know because for $22, they fly out of her company like hotcakes. They are, oh, it's so much fun. It's such a great product. I'm so glad that uh, my friend Quilty Mom and Molly turned me on to that. So it's so cool. But anyway, I want to thank everyone for joining me. I hope you go out and have a fantastic Friday. It's going to be hunting uh, deer season opening this weekend. So uh, tomorrow is going to be such a dead day at work. And I'm going to get so much work done. I'm so excited. I can't wait to go in. So anyway, have a great night, everybody. We'll chat tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hi, everybody. Happy Friday. So we finally made it. I hope everyone had a fantastic week. I hope your work by went by so fast, but you still got twice as much work done and you are really happy with your work performance. So anyway, today, uh, just a beautiful, beautiful day here. We were like mid seventies. Uh, one of my bosses that was in, um, actually went out with one of the guys and they bought some brats and some burgers, some buns and different kind of salads and chips and they uh, actually grilled outside for us, and so we had a really nice barbecue at work, so that was really fun. And then, of course, just about all the guys left, so it was Jen and me, and I, and so I made Jen and me some margaritas about 3 o'clock, so that was really fun. And, um, yeah, I left work about 7.30, 8 o'clock, and it was still uh, in the 70s. So I'll take that. But this time of year, that is, that is awesome, especially when we had like 8 inches of snow and some cold weather a couple of weeks ago. Maybe just two weeks ago. Wow, what a difference a couple of weeks makes. But yeah, I will take this nice weather any day of the week. But I just kind of wanted to come up quick. I wanted to thank everyone for joining this, me this week for a, my blogs. I really enjoy coming online and chit chatting with you for a couple of uh, minutes every day and just uh, sharing parts of my life and that's going on. and. And to me, it just means the world to have your support. And when I see that people actually watched and leave comments, it just it just really touches my heart. So I want to thank you so much. And you can see my Scentsy flower right here is um, coming alive with some more colors. So, and I did uh, do a video on that on Sunday, and I'll probably try to fast forward that and uh, just kind of um, put that in there somewhere. How I just colored the tips of that, and then maybe a picture of what it looks like now. So I'm excited about that. I really like the way that came out. I, after I did the tips, I was kind of wondering, like, did I pick the right colors for this? This red, yellow, and orange, maybe that wasn't great, but I think they're all kind of mushy, m mixing or mushing together. So the colors are just bleeding through really nice. I think it looks like a really nice fall color. Maybe I'll have to do one with red, maybe a little bit of green. I don't know. Maybe that's too bold for Christmas. But anyway, I have a Scentsy Warmer of the Month coming. For um, the November one, that looks really, really nice. Of course, I'm going to have to move my Halloween decorations to uh, get that in here. It was supposed to be here tomorrow, but it got delayed, I think, in Colorado. So maybe they've got some uh, winter activity going on in there. So now it looks like Monday. I've got a boxy charm that's also coming on Monday. And I've got an Ipsy coming sometime next week, too. Maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. So a couple of videos coming up. I'm excited to get a little bit more skin care and try some new products. And I hope that you are here to uh, watch that and tell me what I'm supposed to do with it. Because, yeah, this, this old lady needs some help in the skin care department and makeup. So anyway, I want to thank you again for watching. Your support, it just means everything to me. And I am so blessed to have you all in my life. I hope everyone goes out, has a fantastic weekend, and we will chat again in my next vlog. So I'll be starting that tomorrow. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Love you all. Bye-bye.